Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Morgan James book launch. My name's Jim Howard. I'm the publisher for Morgan James. And today I'm really excited because we've got an incredible fiction author to introduce you to. Today we are talking with Kaya Wolf. And Kaya is the author of Serenity, the Blood Moon Prince. Kaya, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm excited because this book, this book has so much of the things that I love to read, right? I'm a big fantasy reader anyway. My daughter, uh, she's in her, she's 21 now. And, you know, growing up, she wanted to read all this, the science, I mean, the, um, uh, the books in this realm and, and it just the fantasy books. And, um, you know, for me, I had to read those with her or, or read those along before her. And, uh, somehow along the way, I got indoctrinated. These became my thing. So now this is the style of book that I love to read, but your book even, I think goes beyond that. And I'm excited to jump in here and talk to you about it because your book also brings up some real world issues and real world, situations and scenarios i think it's so powerful the way that you intertwine this amazing story with relatable topics and things that we can almost instantly pick up on so i'm super excited about it but i guess the first question is with all of that said you know why serenity the base idea of serenity has been with me for a very long time and it was in the last few years that it really became the story it, it is now and the name for Serenity um, originally came from where the, the story takes place in the book. Um, but by the time I was done writing it and through some struggles, um, it took on a whole new meaning where the main character uh, finds a bit of serenity before he has to make that critical decision. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and it all unfolds so well. And I'm not gonna give any spoilers away. Uh, for anybody watching, you guys have to buy a copy of this book to figure it all out. But it's just really strong the way that you can get into the character and where the character's at and what the struggles are and to see what he's dealing with and what goes on all around in the story. And uh, it's just really, really, really well done. But what does, Kaya, what does Serenity bring to readers? Like all fiction, it gives you a place to escape to. Mm. It's a contemporary fantasy. So you, you're in a world that's very similar, but of course there's magic. Kane, the main character, he struggles with PTSD and anxiety. Mm -hmm. And through newfound friendship and a touch of magic, he learns how to live again and find a bit of serenity, overcoming his mental limitations that he has. Um, but as I said before, the, the book became so much more and it became apparent that there was a hidden me meaning and message within this book that I discovered. And it became so powerful that it was imperative that this book come out that those with mental illness don't have to be alone, that they can find that friendship, that support group, and that they all deserve to find happiness, which Kane does find. And it shows that we are worth it as well. Yeah, absolutely. And is that your message? Is that the message that you you want the reader to connect with as they start to read it? That, you know, even though you are going through something, there's always that support system and you're not alone and you're, you can find that help? Definitely. My message definitely focuses in on mental illness and the stigmas around it, that it is a hidden illness, that so many people struggle with it, that you don't even know that they are, that they're fighting a battle that they know that you know nothing about. Mm. And my message is that you can find that support team or that anchor in your life and that you can find the happiness that you deserve happiness. And that you're not alone. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to fight alone. We are fighters in our own way. And a fighter isn't a fighter without a, the support team behind them. And that's my message to the world with this book is that we can all stand tall, stand strong and live. Yeah. Yeah. And you do that so well in this story. Um, and, and everyone watching this today, here, here's the thing. 
we're seeing this unfold every day, right? We see stories breaking. We see celebrities coming forward. We see people and, and you, see, you know, your neighbors, your friends, your family members, I'll guarantee you, if you're not dealing with some sort of trauma, some sort of anxiety, some sort of uh, issue that, you know, you know, somebody that is, I almost bet you because I can promise you they're there. And this book brings in the conversation in such a, an easy to get into way filled with, as Kaya said, fantasy story and a bit of magic. But it's, uh, it's just a great way to lose yourself in this great world that's been that's been built and to understand the struggle, but then also see the victory. And you can see that in this book all through throughout the story. So you can grab a copy of this book everywhere books are sold. So I encourage you wherever you buy books to go get a copy of Serenity, uh, the Blood Moon Prints right now. Um, get a copy for someone that you know that may be struggling. Get a copy for someone you know, and you may not even know they're struggling, but there are there are signs that you can see. So if you've ever wondered, this is just a great non-threatening book with a phenomenal story that's going to show them that they're not alone in this battle. Kaya, you know, one thing I want to say was just thank you for finding this unique channel to have this very important conversation, um, not just telling a story to tell the story. But like you said, as you started putting the story together, you could see the message forming and you went with it. And a lot of authors may have missed that or even would have said, maybe that's for another book, but you chose to write this into the story and make it a beacon of hope for people who read it. And that's a powerful, powerful thing to do. So I really wanted to say thank you for being willing to listen to your, your heart and write the story in that way. Um, and, uh, and, you know, taking some time with us today just to talk about it. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and I can't wait to see what happens as this book gets into hands and as people read it and uh, and go on this journey uh, with you and, and with the story. So guys out there, you know, grab a copy of this book and uh, I, you won't be disappointed, I promise. And Kaya, I know that people are watching us today and, you know, they're going to want to know more. They We've probably got their interest peaked and now they're they're wanting to figure out what is this all about and, and how can I be a part of it? So what's the best way for someone watching us today to get connected with you? Um, I do have a website, kayawolf.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, even TikTok <laughs> at the handle Kaya Wolf author. Kaya Wolf author. Awesome. I'll put that right here below this video. So all of you guys watching this now, um, just look right there and there'll be the link to the website and I'll put her, um, her, her at signs in there as well for all the socials. So you can get connected. However is best for you. So Kaya, thank you for taking the time today to talk with us. And, uh, man, I can't wait for this book to come out. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And everyone watching, thank you guys for watching as well. And we'll see you on our next one.